Are you looking for a campground near Columbus, Ohio? Hi, I'm Jen Grover. On this week's episode of Tab Talk, I'm going to be sharing information about Deer Creek State Park, southwest of Columbus, Ohio, to help you decide whether this is the right campground for you. Stay tuned. Make sure you stay tuned until the end because I'm going to share an important update about the Elwell Air 8 air conditioner in the Tab 320 and 400. I booked a last minute reservation to Deer Creek last week. I'm in site 136 and there are 232 sites to choose from at Deer Creek State Park. All the sites are electric and offer 50 and 30 amp service. There are water hydrants throughout the park where you can fill your freshwater tank and a dump station so that you can empty on the way out. There are a lot of things to do at this park. There is a BMX track, there is a Frisbee golf course, there is a lodge, a lake, where there's boating and paddling. There are also a variety of sites to choose from. There are some with full sun, some with plenty of shade, some that even have covers over the picnic tables. So if you eat outside mostly, that could be a great option for you. I've even been told that some of the sites have decks, although I haven't been able to find any myself. There are full service bathrooms with flush toilets and showers available. I have not gone into the bathrooms due to COVID. They're encouraging people to use their self-contained facilities, which I am doing with Maddie Ross right behind me. The site I'm in, 136, is a really nice L-shaped site, and all the sites have fire rings with grates over them and a pole for lanterns as well as a picnic table. I'll give you a quick view of the campsite. Here I am walking back. And you can see we're coming around to the L-shaped side. And lots of privacy. Rocky and I have been playing fetch here. I'm going to walk slowly around the back of the site so you can see there's the electric pedestal. Electric's been solid. I haven't had any interruptions. Things you need to know about this park. I paid $30 on the weekend per night with a $6.50 reservation fee. So for two nights it was $66.50. It is a reservation campground. So you will want to uh, make sure you reserve sites. I believe all Ohio State Parks require reservations now. Many parks are going that route versus the walk-in site option. There are, like I mentioned, 232 sites, but I would say most of them are busy or full this weekend. There were a few empty ones, and I'm not sure why that is, because honestly, on the website when I went to book, there were only two empty sites. So it does get pretty busy. There are a lot of kids in the campground, but the stretch I'm in has been pretty quiet compared to other sections of the campground and a little more spread out. There are also some nice picnic shelters or pavilion type things that look fairly modern and some hiking trails in the park. I want to share one quick thing for you. If you own a 320 or 420 with the Elwell Air 8 air conditioner, Elwell released a video on how to program your control panel to allow your fan to run all night long, or all day for that matter. I did it right last night before I went to bed, and I will tell you I slept a lot more soundly. I've been sleeping pretty well in the tab, but with the fan running continuously, it does provide an easier night's sleep. It's a little too early for me to make a comment on whether it impacts the temperature because it was night, but it is worth doing if you own an Elwell Air 8 air conditioner. Also, one thing not mentioned in the programming video is that the power has to be off on the air conditioning to enter the programming mo mode. I was having difficulty getting it to work, so I turned the power off and that's all it took. If this video has been helpful, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and click the bell so that you're notified for my next video. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this campground review and I'll see you soon.